Now that we've covered how to diagram our data, both in a frequency table and a frequency histogram, it helps to have a few summary statistics or descriptive statistics to measure what's called central tendency, or where roughly the center of this distribution lies. To do that, one of the most popular measures of central tendency is something called the mean. The mean is simply the average of all these observations in our sample. So 3, 5, 5, 5, and 7. And to calculate the mean, we have a simple formula where we take M, which stands for the mean, and then we take the sum, represented by sigma, of X, or all of our observations. And then we divide that by the number of observations, which in this case is 5. So, breaking this out, we have the sum of all of our observations in X, which is 3 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 7 over 5. This reduces to 25 over 5, which equals 5. That's our mean. A couple other measures of central tendency are the mode and the median. The mode is simply the most common observation, or the observation with the highest frequency. And you can see this pretty easily from your frequency table or from a frequency histogram. And it's easy to figure this out when you plot your data from the smallest to the largest value. In this case, we see that the mode, or the most frequently occurring observation, is 5. It occurs three times, the other observations only occur once. So, 5 is the mode. The last measure of central tendency is something called the median, and that simply splits your data in half. So, in this case, we have an odd number of observations, 5. So, the median is going to be the very middle of those observations, which is, again, going to be 5, or this number right here. That's the median. However, in the case where we have an even number of observations, so let's say that we had a sample which also included the values of 7, 12, and 15. Now we have 8 observations, and these two are right in the middle. To calculate the median, we would take the average of these two which is 5 plus 7 over 2, or 12 over 2, which is 6. Note that in this case, before we added all those other observations, the mean, median, and mode were all the same. They were 5. In the next tutorial, we'll talk about why that can sometimes be misleading, and why some measures of central tendency are better descriptive statistics than others.